This week, Apple released iOS 14.5. And if you have a relatively new Apple Watch, you can use it to unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask. Finally. Now, I usually only make iOS specific videos for major updates. I did so for iOS 13, iOS 14, but 14.5 feels like an important update. So here's your video. And before we dive in, yes, you should install it. If you have any sort of modern iPhone, it's good to keep it up to date. iOS 14.5 is good to go. Let's start with AirTag support. I recently uploaded a video all about AirTags. I'll link it below if you haven't seen it yet. I really like AirTags and iOS 14.5 enables support for them. Also new in iOS 14.5 is controller support for PS5 controllers and Xbox Series X controllers. So if you do a lot of mobile gaming on your iPhone and you have the latest console, you can use those controllers now to play games. There's also new Siri voices to choose from. Here's what they sound like. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. They sound way more human now. Apple added support for a handful of new emoji in iOS 14.5. There's a bunch of variations for the couples emoji. There's now an exhaling emoji, face with spiral eyes, face in the clouds, heart on fire, mending heart, or what I call broken heart, and Apple changed the syringe to have no blood, and the new headphones emoji is AirPods Max. The big update in iOS 14.5, aside from the Apple Watch iPhone unlock with mask on, is Apple's new dialogue for app tracking. You know when you install an app and you open it for the first time and there's all these pop-ups like enabling Bluetooth, accessing your camera, enabling the microphone, notifications, you, you know what I'm talking about. Well, now there's gonna be a dialogue that asks if you want to be tracked or not. This functionality has been in iOS previously, but it was kind of buried in the settings and now Apple is putting it front and center whenever you open an app that has this sort of tracking. So if you're like me and many others that don't want your activity to be tracked in the apps you use on a daily basis, there's actually a sort of universal setting. You could go in and just disable all apps from tracking you. Apple actually published a YouTube video explaining this whole app tracking transparency thing. It's like a two minute, really well done animated video. It's worth a watch if you're interested. It's linked below. And lastly, the reason you may have clicked on this video, my personal favorite feature of iOS 14.5 is the ability to use your Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone when you're wearing a mask. Fun fact, when the iPhone 10 came out, I uploaded a video on this very YouTube channel explaining my frustrations using Face ID while wearing a face covering. I published that in 2018. Here we are a year into the pandemic and Apple finally has a solution for this. You need an Apple Watch Series 3 or later and then any iPhone 10 or later, anything that has Face ID. And obviously both of them need to be up to date in terms of software. So to actually enable it, you go into your settings, Face ID and passcode, you scroll down and then there's a toggle that says unlock with Apple Watch. It might take a few seconds, but once it's enabled, it just works. I've gotten so used to typing in my passcode while wearing a mask that this feels so convenient now. And I've only had it for like a day or two, and I highly recommend you do the same. Apple, on behalf of myself and probably millions of others, Thank you for doing this. And that's kind of it for this video. The app tracking transparency thing is definitely a big deal. And this Apple Watch unlock your iPhone while wearing a mask thing is just so convenient. And if you're new around here, my name is Sam Sheffer and I'm glad you found my YouTube channel. If you wanna see more informational technology videos like this one, there's a big red subscribe button that you can click down there. And as always, thanks for watching.